Welcome to How To Be Mobile. Uh, I'm Stu and I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 on your Mini Note PC. Okay, Windows 7 is of course the successor to Windows Vista and we've been promised by Microsoft a much more lightweight, uh, snappier operating system than Vista was, so that would be ideal for this Mini Note uh, on Mini PC segment. So we decided to check it out. Currently Microsoft is offering the beta a beta version of, the, of Windows 7, which you can download free from the Windows site. Uh, I've downloaded a version of Windows 7, and I'm going to show you how to install it. Okay, the first thing you'll need is something like this. This is a DVD optical drive, uh, <coughs> which attach, attaches to your main you know, via a USB cable. Right? So, it's very simple. You just simply plug it in and then you can then boot directly from the CD and install from there. If you don't have a portable DVD player like this, you can use a regular desktop DVD one, if you have one. You will simply need something like this, which is an IDE to USB adapter. So you simply connect this guy here, and put the USB in the end of your computer, and away you go. Okay. As you can see, I have here a HP Mini Note 2133, and I'm going to use this as our Windows 7 guinea pig. We're going to try Windows 7 on here. I have my Windows 7 disk here, preferred, and it's now inside my uh, USB attached optical drive. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is turn it on, and you'll see. What we'll do is we're going to BIOS and we'll check the, the boot order. So we hold down F10 to go into the BIOS. And we move along to system configuration, boot options. First boot device is USB TEAC DW2248. That's our optical drive right here. So this is the first boot device, which is right, which is what we want. So we press F10 and we exit. Now, hopefully, the HP2133 will actually boot from the disk inside our DVD ROM. Press any key to boot from the DVD. Great. Now we can begin installing Windows 7. Now this, if for any of you who have used Vista before, this should look fairly familiar. I will open this drive options area here. And I'm going to choose disk partition 0. I'm going to delete that. That's where my current Windows XP installation is. I'm going to delete that partition. It warns me I will lose the data, which of course I know about. Now we have 50 gigs of unallocated space. We'll create a new partition here. We'll use all of that space. We will now, this is the, um, the end user agreement, which you must agree to, of course. Now, I'm going to choose custom here rather than upgrade because I want to do a clean install, which actually we can delete that as well. Okay, we can now elect to install Windows 7. We can now install Windows 7 on partition 1 and choose next. And that's pretty much it. Okay, go back, make yourself a cup of coffee, come back in 20 minutes. See how we're getting on. Okay, there you have it. It was really that simple. Um, having installed Windows 7 now, um, actually I can report that I was quite pleasantly surprised that actually the installation DVD had all the drivers that Windows 7 needed to work properly with the 2133, even uh, the VGA and wireless network drivers, which was a quite a pleasant surprise. Okay, uh, I'm going to be using Windows 7 for the next day or two. I'm going to get back to them with my, uh, my impressions on, on this new operating system and uh, just how suited it is to this mini note segment. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.